Get out of here, dude. Oh, I came out here totally by random and they're doing an Indian demo tour. I'm gonna have to stop by and see what's up. Yeah. John Motors Garage? Yeah, dude. What's going on, man? What's up, dog? One of your followers. Oh, nice, man. What's your name? Nick. Nick, cool, dude. Nice to meet you. What are you hey, you're on the FTR? Yes, sir. Hey, I'll race you out there, dog. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what up, you guys? John's Motor Garage. Um, just by random, dude. By random, happened to be out here. Rolled through, and they're doing an Indian demo, so we're going to take the FTR out. We got one of the locals, Nick, over there. Local sub. And... Hopefully after this ride, I will do the uh, Indian Challenger. I've demoed this bike before, but it's been a while. It's been a while. All right, what are we looking at? 120 horsepower, 85 foot-pounds of torque, six-speed, Brembo brakes, inverted front suspension, Pro Taper, full LED lighting, USB charging port, ABS and cruise control, 3.4 gallon tank, MSRP, titanium smoke, 13,499. Can you turn off the ABS? That is the question. Anyway, welcome to the channel. I'm going to do a test ride on this uh, FTR 12 Hundo. My last video that I did on this, I don't think turned out too awesome. Shout out to Indian Motorcycles and uh, Ride Now for putting this on. And for the free food. Alright, cool thing about the FTR 1200 is the old school classic awesome look, man. I mean, it's hard to beat the style on this motorcycle. The last time I rode it, I didn't get a chance to really, you know, open it up. And I probably won't today either. Let's have fun. It reminds me, riding position, kind of of like a supermoto. Kind of got that neutral. It's not super, super aggressive, which I like. Makes it comfortable. Similar to something like your FC09. Uh, naked bike street fighters as well all right staggered position i think this is a fly-by-wire throttle always takes me a minute to get used to this especially coming from the bikes that i've been riding but handling is top notch on this thing just lean right into it on that super fast corner hopefully we'll get out of first gear here soon Like, I feel like this bike has so much potential, and these kinds of demo rides are just not the not the best environment. This bike is not built for a demo ride. It's built to be ripping the streets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dog. God, this thing has the potential, bro. It totally has the potential, man. Hopefully, we can tap into that a little bit here. I'll be riding the Challenger next. Where's the Challenger? Oh, there she is. Have you guys seen, seen the new performance bagger racing that they're doing now? That is pretty gnarly. I believe Indian actually won the first race. Oh, popped a wheelie and I think the guy was looking, so I might be in trouble. Yeah, this thing is capable of going up on one wheel. That's for sure. That's for dang sure. I feel like I need to get myself an Indian FTR 1200 now. That guy's looking right at me. Alright, let's go. Woo! <laughs> yeah, doc. Oh, there it is. Oh, dude. Yeah. Woo! The last time I rode this, we like never had a chance to really get on it. But now I can feel it, dude. I can feel it. You hang back a little bit. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, this thing's torquey, man. This thing is really torquey. I like it. I like the way it feels. This is still a V-twin, right? This is the same engine they've got in the Scout Bobber. Just, I believe, tuned differently. I could be totally, totally mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. And... I like the, the torque and the grunt that it has. Night and day difference from my last demo ride on this bike because we never had a chance to open it up, man. Didn't do the bike justice. Dude, this thing freaking pulls hard. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Oh yeah. 
So we're cruising on the freeway. What do we got? It's got a gear indicator, which is nice for beginners and even for newbies like me. Six feet. The bike feels pretty nimble. It really does seem like a beefed up supermoto. And just right there in line with a lot of the Street Fighter naked bikes, like your Yamaha FC09. But it does feel different. The V-Twin definitely feels different than your inline three or your parallel twin that you get with like an FC09 or a Yamaha MT07, for example. But I think you have different riding modes as well. I'm not sure which mode I'm in. Hopefully it's sport mode. And it just feels, it's a lot of fun, man. It's grunty, it's got the torque. Yeah, the, the only thing that sucks about it is the fact that I'm on a demo ride and I can't really have fun on it, you know what I mean? The thing I love about this bike is I absolutely love the styling, the styling cues. And when I did my last demo, for some reason I, I don't know, like I never tapped into it. And so I was kind of disappointed walking away from it. But now on this ride, I'm thinking, dude, this one is actually kind of the best of a lot of things because it looks cool. It's what a lot of people want when they, you know, hear that Harley was doing the Bronx and then Harley chopped that off their, off their lineup. Um, anyway, yeah, it looks cool. With exhaust, I'm sure it sounds pretty dang good. And it's wicked fun, man. Oh, geez, wicked fun. I gotta get... Oh, dang it, we have a road captain in the back. Ooh, I like the gold on that. I like the gold fork tubes on that one. These brakes feel mushy, but I imagine you can adjust these. Oh yeah, dude. ABS is kind of kicking in, so it's a little bit of a lag, it feels like, on hitting the wheelies, but all in all, dude, she feels good, dog. She feels real good. That was a nice little kind of deep rumble to it. She's twitchy, man. It's, it's definitely got that twitch to it. I would have to figure out how to turn ABS off. I can feel it fighting me, but geez, dude, this thing is great. This thing is great. It re I really like the way it handles around the corners, man. I really do. I'm not a big fan of these mirrors, but what stock mirrors are gonna be rad, you know what I mean? Very few of them. I like the foot pegs, man. The seat seems pretty good. Oh, dude, this thing is a freaking, what a blast, man. If they made an adventure style Indian, which maybe they're doing, I don't know. That thing's like, it seems like it'd be perfect, dude. It seems like it'd be absolutely perfect. Man, I need to get my hands on one of these for like a long-term review for like a couple weeks. You know what I mean? I'd probably end up buying it. So, all right, my kind of concluding thoughts on this motorcycle. All right, this bike's cool. Kind of like how a Harley's cool. And what I mean by that is, this bike is not gonna be, as far as performance, like the number one bike out there in terms of torque and horsepower and, and handling and all that stuff. But what's rad about this bike is it's got the character, kind of got the character of a Harley, kind of like that muscle bike type feel to it, but it's got the potential to do so much more. So it is in a sense like, you know, the ultimate, man. It's got the cool factor in terms of look. It's a neutral, comfortable riding position. The fun factor is, you know, off the charts, at least from what I can tell so far. It can get up to speed and handle the freeways great. I'm sure on a track, well, in the canyons, you're gonna have a lot of fun. And so overall package is where it's at. The only, the only slight drag on these motorcycles is the price point but this one it says 13499 
that's not as bad as I thought. I thought these things were around 17 out the door. Um, if you can pick one of these up for that 10 to 13 range, that's not terrible at all. You know what I mean? It really seems to be pretty good. So, so I don't know. And yeah, it'll lift up even in uh, even in second gear, you know, at a decent speed. This thing will pop up. It's no wheelie machine in the way that the Yamaha FC07 is, but I can tell if I were to able to if I were able to ride this a little bit more, you know, how I wanted to ride it. Yeah, no doubt we would get comfortable in it and get the hang of it. So. So this is quite the redeeming ride compared to my last ride on this bike. I don't know what it was about that last ride. Maybe it wasn't in the right mode. Maybe it was just the group. I'm not sure. Maybe it was the location, but. Listen to that, man. Yeah, this thing is fun, dude. Now I'm just a little bit, little bit worried that they're gonna kick me out. Hey, what do you think, dude? Yeah, it's fun, man. It's pretty torquey too, dude. Yeah, very. Do you have I think so. I don't have the cool thing like oh, you. Okay. Oh, that yeah, that's got the. Yeah. So I just realized Nick's bike over there has the cool like. Uh, this right here. Yeah, I just realized. Okay, so the nicer FTR upgraded one. That one probably costs around 17k. That's got the little touchscreen and everything on it. I don't even know if this has the option for sport mode or not. That's crazy, dude. Woo. Yeah, it's torquey. What? Is, this doesn't even. Oh, it's around four, four thousand RPMs, forty-five hundred. Hey, shout out to Nick right next to us. He said he's a subscriber of the channel. Thanks for the support, dog. It's fun riding with you, man. This dude's like, man, who are these idiots? I gotta take it easy. I, I wanna make it to my Challenger ride. I don't wanna get kicked off of that. They'd kick me out and probably ban me for life, dude. This idiot John is not allowed to do these demo rides anymore. It's too much fun though. How can you take a dude, put him on a bike that has what, 120 horsepower? Yeah, how can you take a dude, put him on a bike with 120 horsepower and expect him not to do a little bit of hooning around, you know? This transmission is nice, bro. Hey, they're pretty dope, huh, dude? But yeah, you can't put a dude on a bike like this and expect him not to get the wheel up in the air at least once or twice, man. I like it, man. Oh, one thing I was gonna say, this transmission, bro, this transmission is smooth. Smooth. All right, you guys, John's Motor Garage. I think that's gonna do it, the Indian FTR 1200. This is, I think, their base model. But don't be fooled, man. Base model doesn't mean no fun. This thing is a blast. A blast from the past absolute blast from the past and uh, anyway like and subscribe if you dig the content drop a comment below should I buy the FTR 1200 should I give one away like SRK cycles uh, stay tuned I'll do a video on the uh, Challenger coming up here soon very soon I do like the handling on this thing it does seem to yeah dog whoa whoa whoa, whoa. chill out Nick Chill out, dog. All right, John's Motor Garage. Like and subscribe if you dig it. I appreciate the support. Shout out to Ride Now. Shout out to Indian for doing this. Somebody hit up Ride Now and ask them. Ask them if they will hire me on to do the demo rides. Because you know they want an idiot like me ripping around on their motorcycles. You just know they do. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one, dog.
Oh, what a blast, man. What a blast. Oh, there she is. Let's do a quick walk around with the bike. So this is the one I was riding. Oh, it's got kind of knobby tires. I could totally see this as an adventure motorcycle. Hey, I think the dude mixed you up for me. It's all right. I'm <laughs> yeah, it's torquey, man. I test rode one like a year ago, and it didn't. I don't remember it riding like that. Really? No. So I don't know if it was in the wrong mode, or maybe it was just the demo ride. But it feels a lot. 